happy saturday the 21st of january it's a very dreary start to the day got some raindrops going on out there if you guys can hear them good morning i'm having my cup of coffee i'm in my pajamas and uh got too excited about the phone call last night i'm still anxious because no the hospital did not call uh, which i expected because his call wasn't until like three or something. I don't remember the time without looking at my phone, but that means I have to wait. We have to wait until Monday, hopefully at the latest. I don't want to be like too, uh, what's the word? overly impatient I guess uh, but if they don't call by like three o'clock I am gonna just follow up with the IVF doctor's office and just see if they heard anything specific because the only reason why I'm trying to be um, proactive about it is because my mom and possibly my dad might be coming down to help during the surgery uh, time frame because I'm not sure how long Brad will be able to take, take off because I don't think I talked about it um, Maybe I did maybe I didn't I can't remember but Brad and I are actually heading To see his parents just for three nights uh, We're taking a quick flight back to Pennsylvania um, in early February and uh, because of that, like, I don't know if he'll be able to, if it happens on the 13th, if everything goes as discussed yesterday, I don't know if um, he'll be able to take as much time off, except for like maybe a day or two, obviously. So we'll see. I know um, by the time that this vlog goes out, we'll know the outcome, I would think, uh, if, there was a cancellation and they can fit me in for the 13th. By the time this goes out, hopefully we'll know that answer. I know a lot of you over on Instagram are already praying for us because obviously I share things a little bit more instantaneously there than I do here just because this is always a little bit behind. So if you guys aren't following us over on Instagram, definitely follow us over on Instagram and you guys can be more in the know with what's going on quicker versus waiting for the vlogs to come out. Thank you all so much for all the kind prayers and kind messages that you've sent through messages on Instagram. We both just greatly appreciate it so much. And I'm just trying to stay positive, trying to not think about it too much, but it's really hard not to, uh, especially because Brad's working and open to close today and he's working and open to close tomorrow. And so it's just me at the house, so it's just like, mm. <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna finish up my coffee, get the day started. I am trying to get myself motivated to finish decorating stuff for Valentine's Day because I have not finished that. I'm gonna change the date. Um, I bought stuff back earlier in the week. Oh gosh, what day was it? Uh, Wednesday when I was out with Brad in the morning. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday when Brad had to go to work for just a few hours and I decided to go with because just to get out of the house, I had a, some returns exchanges to do. So I was just like, let's just go and do that. I bought a little bit more than I probably should have, but let me set you guys down so I can share what I got and then I'm gonna try to finish decorating, finally, for Valentine's Day. Okay, on to some fun stuff. My little haul from Hobby Lobby. So, everywhere that I went on Wednesday, nobody really had like any like little ceramic hearts that I wanted to be able to put in a few places just to add like a tiny little bit more touch of Valentine's in the house. I did find these, which I'm going to, well, it's one, but it's two hard. It's two hearts that are together. Um, it's wood, but I'm gonna paint it probably some sort of pink color, uh, since pink is my favorite. So I'll probably work on that today, but it was super inexpensive because table decor was 40% off. 
And this was originally $6, so not too expensive. I did pick up a pack of each of these, one for everyone on the coffee bar and then one for the spot behind me. So there's that. I then picked up two extra bags of these because I have some already, but since I couldn't find ceramic things to fill in the little spots that I want, I'm gonna use these inside of clear jars and make these like bowl fillers to fill in the spaces that I wanna fill in. But I don't know if the ones that I have left over from before, if I have enough of them. So I got these just in case kind of thing. The other main thing that I wanted was to find some more hearts to fill in the bottom of my, of my cider jars. Let me grab one. So like, I wanted to fill as much as I can to the top of where that little piece is, you know, kind of thing. Um, I didn't really adjust these the best, so that, that one stick can come down a little bit further. But I wanted to fill this up a little bit more so that you can see the color a little bit more at the bottom. So I found these and these. This is just the solid red ones. One's more matte, and then the other one is like shiny. And then... These have clear hearts and pink hearts in them. I did get four bags of each of those. I don't know if I'm gonna need all of them. I may need more, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna start with first is doing these to fill the jars and see how they look. So that's the first thing on the agenda. The day turned out to be like super windy. out there on the lake. Don't see that too often. I think the last time we saw it was during Ian. I have no idea where this vlog has been. Uh, how much I vlogged, I won't know until I edit. But I have a feeling this vlog that you guys have seen or have seen so far is very all over the place because this weekend has just been very uh very very difficult um my pain from my endo from this new medicine the doctor has me on it's just been very debilitating um i'm like sort of out of breath because i just took a shower, just had the energy finally to get in, quick wash my hair, and get out. Um, I started feeling a little bit lightheaded in there as well, but I was able to get out, sit down, and just take a few minutes, and then I was able to brush my hair and get dressed. Um, I... I'm really hoping that tomorrow we'll have some good news and hopefully our prayers will be answered that there is in fact a cancellation for February 13th because I just, being in chronic pain already with all the back stuff going on and dealing with the endo stuff not just because of wanting to do IVF or try IVF again, it's for quality of life. I had to come back and sit on the couch and put the heating pad on as this has pretty much been my position pretty much either here or in bed all weekend. Yes, I did try to finish up all the Valentine's stuff, which I did. I don't decorate very much for Valentine's, but it took me a long time to do just a little bit of stuff that I had to do because I have just been in so much pain. Um, looking back, I wish I would have been more of an advocate for myself back when we were still in Georgia and dealing with the IVF doctor there. Um, after we had a miscarriage there, I was just like, do you think we should check to see if endo is going on again? Because the last surgery that I had was 2014 and that's when I was diagnosed with stage four endo. And I had a lot of the ongoing symptoms, things like that. 
not nearly as bad as what I have now, but I did have symptoms then. Long story short, obviously, he just pushed it off and I just, whatever, kept moving forward. Then we moved to Florida and didn't really get started with IVF again until what's like, I think September of the year that we moved here, which was 2018. And um, I really didn't bring it up with him, even though I should have, um, even though he knew the history of us, like as far as what had caused us to go to infertility and knowing that my tubes were blocked and everything like that. I should have like said something then and brought it up, but I didn't. And then the rest of sort of history, 2019 August, is when um, I started having all these back issues and getting diagnosed with what I have. And here we are. Um, you know, a lot of my back issues could be related. Well, not all of my back issues, because obviously I've been diagnosed with several different things going on with my back. But like endo can also cause back pains too. And with everything flaring up, like more so this last like year and a half, like. I honestly wish I would have just like done something about it even though we weren't thinking about IVF because now I just feel like I'm in complete misery. <sighs> I'm tired of being in pain whether it's going to help us conceive or not. I'm tired of being in pain. Yes, I know the back pain is, is never going to go away but I'm hopeful that maybe if I do have endo like behind the uterus, like I hope that some of it can get removed and hopefully some of that will help alleviate some of the pain that I'm having. But I don't know, obviously until we go in and have surgery. Either way, like quality of life like is important to me. I'm already dealing with chronic pain every single day because of my back. I'm not trying to say that my pain is more valid than somebody else that's going through something more severe. I don't like being at home by myself. I miss working. I am just hoping that getting this surgery done will at least help give me some relief to all the stuff that I'm dealing with chronically every day, every single day. This weekend just sort of like, put like a big damper just on everything just because I feel like I am being lazy. I feel like some people look at me as I'm being lazy and I'm not getting out of the house, but it's debilitating. I cry so much to my mom and my sister and some other people that I talk to that are in my life and like they understand. My mom had a history of endometriosis as well as my grandma. It's obviously hereditary in our family and I know I've talked about this before, but my mom had a hysterectomy when she was like 28. So she knows what I'm going through. And that's why I am just really praying and really hoping that tomorrow we'll have some good news. And I get it, we may not have good news tomorrow, but like, I'm hoping that like, there'll be a different cancellation or something, you know, because I just don't know how I can get myself through these next two months because this medicine, even though I know it's trying to help suppress everything, but like it's just stirring up so much like hormones in me and it's just making things like go crazy. And who knows, maybe it will calm down in the next month or so, but like I haven't even been on it a full month yet and it's just been awful. Wow, this vlog is really going to be odd. Um, but this is real life.
And that's what I wish like more people would understand that like endometriosis is like a real thing. You may only have stage one, but you could still have like excruciating pain and who knows, maybe that's what I'm dealing with. Maybe I have stage one right now, but I'm just dealing with immense amounts of pain because of where the adhesions are located or something, I don't know. I know it's obviously on top of dealing with my back stuff too. And I know like some of you might be thinking, how can you then handle having a child? And, and like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that some of this pain that I'm having with my back is endo related. But I won't know until we go into having surgery, whenever that may be. But all I know is in my heart, in Brad's heart, we have to at least try. Chronic pain is not something I would wish on anybody, and I know that my chronic pain may not be as bad or as severe as what other people may be going through, but it doesn't mean that my pain is invalidated, and it isn't, like, excruciating every single day. The truth of the matter is, I would do anything to feel better. I would do anything to be able to go back to what was making me happy, and that was working in retail. Yes, there's things about retail that I don't like, I still don't like, and I probably never will like, but it was still my passion. I still enjoyed doing that, and it's sad that I can't do that for multiple reasons. <sighs> Anyways, this vlog is like very random, but this is what dealing with chronic pain, the birds are really loud, this is what chronic pain looks like, and I'm hoping I can get some relief sooner than later. And trying to start feeling a little bit more like myself. I'm hoping. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys in the next one.